Good day everybody and welcome to the channel. Thank you very much for joining us today. I just want to say sorry for all the ups and downs. We, we were planning to do content and life happened. Um, we, we got really busy so on our side and uh, we are definitely late with, with content. But we are here to sort you guys out. And um, today is all about a vehicle to, to, to grid and vehicle to home. And a little bit about the vehicle to load. But uh, it, it, I've done a video about it before and uh, this one is, is, is going to be the solution. So we, we did, there is a company that have managed to actually get it, get it sorted. The two other companies that I've mentioned um, on the video that you guys can go and have a look at is, is really playing with the idea, but it looks like they, uh, they're having issues. So they, they're not really getting it, getting it to work. But um, there's some good news. So we, we've managed to, to, to get it solved. Um, and that's what we are going to discuss today. So Andre here is going to talk a little bit about, or he's going to more do the, the questions the public normally needs to know. So where, where you guys are normally coming from, uh, where does it actually fit in, you know, where does it belong in society, where, what, what do you actually do with, is it really that important, and, and so forth. So um, I will come back with the replies and then, then you, hopefully you guys can, can watch through right to the end and, and you will learn something about it in, in a bit more detail now that we actually have broken through to, to getting it working. So Andre, if, if, um, uh, just the first one that we need to sort out is the, the actual company. So it's a German company and the company is called Ambibox, if, if we've got that correct. So it's a German company, we, we're not sure, if, hopefully the Germans can help us there if we've mentioned that correctly, but it's Ambibox and uh, basically a box so uh, you know a charging port that goes to the car and then a cable that goes out to out to the house so i think i think um the the, the, the thing is is from a public perspective what do you understand from from and where does it fit in? so um everybody will um ask the public will ask um where does the vehicle to home and the vehicle to grid fits in yeah, so I, I think that's that's a big thing. Um, I, I think it's it, it's a big misunderstanding because I think everybody thinks okay, hold on, it's all about putting energy into the car, not necessarily taking energy out. Because I think everybody will think, okay, but hold on, you you you've got sixty kilowatts, so now if you had a busy day, you come home and then all of a sudden you let's say have thirty kilowatts, and now you take a, a, another eleven kilowatts out. Oh gosh, so when do you charge a car? You're constantly taking energy out. But it's actually, it's actually not about that. And I know it's, it's hectic to understand because it, it, it just doesn't make sense. But the biggest thing is, is, is when the grid is actually down. Um, I mean, like today was a, was a very good example. Um, we are, you guys must look out, we are going to do a, a charging video and then we will go into much more detail about all our frustrations with not charging with, <laughs> with South Africa that doesn't understand how to charge an electric car still. That's still something very weird, but we will talk about that. But besides that is, is the fact that uh, the, the whole idea about it is that if something happens to a grid and you've got a grid, it's so awesome to have. So it will definitely run your whole house. They are working on it where they, they, they want to do a minimum, at least less than like a, well, a zero energy. But at the moment they have an issue where they can go lower than, than 500. That's where, what, that's a problem they currently have. So they're waiting for that to be sorted, but otherwise they've managed to get the full 11 kilowatts out of it. So that means they can easily run a house. Um, very big houses you're looking at probably at 22 kilowatts. Um, uh, and then your average house is between 5 and 11 kilowatts. So it's definitely got its place. Um, it also helps with, with, with a situation where you sometimes want your, 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 your infrastructure to be smaller. So that's where it, it, it's also a very nice thing to have because then you don't have to have so many batteries. You can actually have less batteries because when you arrive home and something does happen, you can rely on, on the energy in the car to basically be, be part of your ecosystem at home, if it, if it makes sense. So yes, yeah, so that, that's basically it, it in, a, in a nutshell there. Is it so that you can take 
devices, if possible, with you, and power household items as well. So that that will be you you wondering if it, if it, if you can actually take the whole box with you, yes. and then hopefully maybe power some some household items. That's that's where you yes that's the whole idea. Okay, so so it it it, sh it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, uh, what 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 you probably needs to do, to happen is that you will need to earth it a lot of a lot of the times these boxes or these systems. Okay, it is it is of course it's still a very new concept, but you should be able to to bypass it in a sense where you can just give it an earth and it it should be able to then be a portable a portable scenario. So there, there, there should be some way. It may be by the way that you you wire it up. In, in, in a way, um, but look, it is, um, you, you guys can go and look on the website to get some more details of the weight and so, we are talking about a pretty a pretty heavy box, so it's not going to be that light, but it will be comfortable sitting at the back of the car, and then maybe you can you can then build your own sort of portable scenario, if, if, if that's the case, but, but you guys can, can uh, go and look into that. But prob the actual problem giving the energy to the devices will not be an issue. So that will be 11 kilowatts, so that will be kettles, microwaves, uh, cell phones, obviously laptops, any, all the small devices is no issue. But all your big stuff, for instance, that you want to take with camping, then you can do that. So the kettles and all of the stuff that you use a lot of heat, it, sh it shouldn't be a problem as long as, as, long as you do the, the, the wiring correct. Yeah, so it's cool. It's 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 cool to have. It's cool to have. If you take the energy out, will you not have energy left the following morning? Yes, I think I think that's where people is really getting confused. Um, and I th I think it comes back again to this whole thing that that the media is making out there that a car charges for eight hours. I think that is so so wrong and we are going to do a, a video look out for that guys we are going to do a video about it um, that will but that will be the upcoming next video that we'll talk about charging and South Africa that doesn't understand the, the charging infrastructure but that will definitely be not the case it's very rare for someone to take a 60 kilowatt car battery wise back wise and drive all of the, the 60 kilowatt out in one day so that will be very strange, but it it must be it must be seen as as part of your ecosystem, and it, it must also be seen as a, as a backup. So so that that's the whole idea. So let's say for example, I was talking about eleven kilowatts. So normally, a house will will use between five and eleven kilowatts for the whole day. Okay. If you so if you if you look at it. And now you come home and you got let's say let's say you got you short about three kilowatts of usage somewhere that that, that you need for the for, 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 for the night or then for the morning whatever the case may be no problem it will it will not make uh, any any effect you're not going to train the car that that's that's the biggest thing so so it's awesome technology I think I think that if you can afford it it's definitely a better option it's a better option than I would say a normal solar system okay. because a normal solar system you are going to sit with a scenario where the inverter that you have because it's basically an inverter so the inverter that you have it will not have the capabilities to feed the house from the car okay. if you know what I mean yeah this this will obviously this system will obviously be a, a system that will be integrated with your with your packs may in fact be hopefully a Tesla if there's not any software issues or, or things like that um, but you should be able to at least integrate it with most battery packs um, not the car battery pack but the, the actual solar pack so it should be easy enough for, for people to to integrate it with the with their system but I, I think it's awesome I think it's uh, it's something extra I think we all feel uh, I mean I had a scenario this morning um, uh, that the house w was down and I was sitting with, what do we call it, like 30 kilowatts of energy in the car, and I just couldn't use it. I would have loved to just power the house, just put it on, yeah. and it would have easily power, power the house. Uh, a household of, let's say, 
four, uh, you know, four people, two children, two adults, you'll be more than fine dowry, uh, dowry gals. But uh, guys, I think look out for the next one. Our next one is going to be one where we'll be talking about charging and what, what South Africa is all about charging and constantly complaining. So we will uh, see you in the next one and thank you for watching today.